your assessment of that display today? I'm more than happy. Uh, first of all, most important, we won the game. Second, we had a clean sheet. Third, I think we no doubt deserved to win because we had control of the game. I don't know about possession of the ball, but I suppose it was more than 60%. Um, and we didn't give them that many chances to score. We had control on the game. And uh, to be honest, I was positively surprised by the performance of the players. I know you mentioned the word control a few times when you first arrived as well. How important was that that you saw that from your players today? Very important, even more so that we had only not even a full training session yesterday. So most of the things happened in talking to the players, video footage, explaining to individual players and group of players uh, how I would want to play. And, and as I said, I didn't expect us to play on that level um, after only one and a half train, uh, uh, training days together with them. How impressed were you with that, in particular the first half display where you really stood up and pressed Crystal Palace and, and the energy you had too? The first half hour was amazing. I mean, it was uh, high intensity, high speed, high tempo. The only thing that was missing was uh, scoring one or two goals. But uh, the way that we played against the ball, the whole game took place in their half. Uh, as I said, positively surprised. It looked like a 4-2-2-2 formation. Mm -hmm. What are the benefits of that formation? How important are the fullbacks when, when, when you play that way? The formation has to fit to, to the players, and I'm a big fan of having each player on his best possible position. And I think today that was the case. Uh, Cristiano was not alone up front, together with Marcus. Uh, they could work together, staying close together against the ball, trigger the pressure situations. Um, Bruno and Jaden. I mean, this is the most demanding, the most sophisticated position in this 4-2-2-2. They did well. Of course, they could have produced more chances, but what they did against the ball was good. The two sixes were, pre were, were omnipresent. And I liked a lot the performances of our two fullbacks and the two centre-backs. Uh, they were anticipating well. The two fullbacks were always yeah, trying to get involved offensively. Yeah, as I said, for the first time, I'm more than happy. As for Fred, were you expecting that shot into the top corner? <laughs> Not with his right foot, so I had to ask my assistant, because who scored? He said, Fred. I said, Fred with his right foot, yes. I mean, he's a wonderful boy. This is one thing I can say even after two days. I've heard a lot about him from, uh, from Ole. So, uh, yeah, right now I can only say it's great to have a boy like him in the team. But the same with, other, with all the other players. Scott McTominay, it's, it's the same. So, with those two number sixes, we are able to... Yeah, play aggressive uh, football against the ball. As you say, you've not had too much time. There's not much too time, uh, too much time again before the next game. What can you do in, in between these games? Well, we need to prepare for the Young Boys game now on Wednesday and uh, hopefully give uh, game time to a few other players um, whom I would have wanted to give a chance today. But in England, unfortunately, you can only substitute three players, uh, whereas in Germany it's five. Uh, so. It might well be that we play with a few other players on Wednesday uh, and then prepare with the